Hello everyone, it's me, your old friend Andy. Uh, today I'm going to show you some uh, new sort of program that I'm working on. It's called Captain's Hour. And it's basically, I'm going to show you some wicked cool cocktails. Okay, now episode one we're going to be doing Death in the Afternoon, which is a uh, drink invented by Otis Tangway as a man who wrote things. I think he's a writer. And ingredients there are absinthe and champagne. Now I've got a bottle of absinthe here, obviously. Now I couldn't find any champagne, so in the spirit of, of me being me, I'm going to have to improvise. So uh, champagne's basically wine. I don't have any white wine, but I do have red wine. It's, it's a nice South African red here, so we're going to do that. Now what you need to do. I'm going to pour some of your South African red into your... Uh, you need a vintage 1994 uh, Goof Troop uh, Burger King Kids Club uh, cup. And you just need to pour just to stall the oil wine into there. That's, that's pretty much what you do. Uh, you get a glass of ice as well. I don't know if you, have, you probably shouldn't have ice. Whatever. And you need a bit of fizz. So I've got this can of Pepsi that's been sat out for a couple of days. Uh, show us some fizz left. Just have a look. I think it's got some left, so we're just gonna just gonna leave that. Uh, some more Pepsi here if I need it, but I probably won't. <laughs> uh, uh, that just uh, that does taste like fizzy wine. If I had some, uh, what you need to do is uh, someone's messaging me on Steam. The fuck's doing that? You need to um, crack open the bottle of absinthe. And you just need to sort of pour it over the ice. And that should be enough, I think. You don't need a lot because this stuff is 73%. And uh, next step really is just, um, uh, just gently pour the champagne into the glass until it uh, just gets nicely emulsified yeah fuck it that'll do it hasn't curdled yet uh, you, you get a pencil like you know just one, one right here um, give it a good old stir and that's how you make the classic and a stunning rare drink, death in the afternoon, where we have absinthe and and goofy. This is pretty good. Oh, now it's time for the taste test. Um, um, wow, well, there's a lot wrong there with my eyes. There's, there's um, it, it tastes like a toilet bowl. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, um, that's Captain's Hour with your good friend Andy. Uh, Join us next time and we'll, I don't know, something. Maybe I'll show you the secret of making special brew. Maybe I won't, because I don't know how to make special brew. But I bet the person who does is very rich. I bet he's a very, very rich man. He's the man who knows how to make special brew. Oh, I even got Anne out for a special, special journey. It's, it's always good to have Anne in the vicinity. Uh, <coughs> oh man, that is disgusting. That is so disgusting. Uh, um, uh, I should probably end this video, but I don't know. What do you think was the fact?
Wow, oh, nice. Yeah, let's stick some more death in the afternoon. Oh, God. This, that is one of the worst things in the world. That is seriously the worst drink I've ever made. And it's supposed to be like, you know, just an expensive exotic drink. It's, it's not that expensive, actually. It was about 20 euros for all this. Bought it abroad, duty free. Don't know what it is in pounds or sorties, but. Oh. <laughs> It's um, this is about uh, this. It's bright green, bright green liquid. It's. Uh, I mean, this shit will kill me. This is this is some strong shit. Be careful with this shit here. See, I'm trying to work out all the things that are wrong here. Number one, ice with red wine. That's, that's a bad idea. Um, absinthe with red wine. Uh, that's a bad idea. Coca-Cola with absinthe and Coca-Cola with red wine. That's that's a really bad idea. Um, I don't think I've washed any of these glasses. Like this one's sat out a couple of days, so it's this. I say Coca-Cola is actually Pepsi. Uh, I mean, I, can't, I kind of deviated quite a bit from the original recipe list, but I'm just gonna. Mm. Mm. I'm going to end the video now, so if you want to make this drink, it's good. It's a 6 out of 10. Very good. Bye.